how's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today we've got very special plans. What are we doing, Simon? We are building a rabbit hutch. A rabbit hutch. You you big fan of rabbits? Love you're them. you're the rabbit guy. You know, every time we go to the auction, we look at the rabbit and I'm like, ah, I just don't want it. So actually what happened was Slayman, you started a rabbit farm. Yeah. Okay. I mean we could call it that. Yeah. That's what you titled the video, yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna hold you to it. Slayman's been to the auctions with us and he's seen the rabbits, and so he's like, hey, I'm just gonna go try it. So he went and he got two rabbits and uh, what happened? They poop all over John's room. They did. So our house smells like happy. poop. Your your whole house smells like poop, so I thought, cool, let's get rabbits then. And uh, so first things first, you gotta build a hutch. And it's something that I've never done. You bought your hutch, right? You didn't I build did. you didn't build it. No, we had to put it together. You you had to put it together. So I figured, eh, you know, look at it. You know, I'm not, I'm not vaping out here. It's freaking freezing. Figured, you know, today would be a good day to go to Home Depot, buy a bunch of materials, get in the heated garage since we got the garage back, and build a rabbit hutch. So that's exactly what we're doing. And uh, I googled some stuff, and I think I've got a material list. And we're gonna go ahead and buy everything, and we're gonna make a super dope rabbit hutch. And then eventually, we're gonna have to go get rabbits. But today's plan: get the hutch built. Tomorrow, we're gonna buy rabbits. All right. First thing on the list. Well, right here. We got two by sixes. We need two by threes. Uh, the direction said we need to do it in pine, but we basically, they don't have pine here that is in two by six. We need to basically rip those suckers in half. So the direction said we need 16 of them. So that means we would need eight. That's good math, right? Yeah, eight. Eight. You need eight two by sixes ripped eight foot in length. So we're going to get eight of these guys loaded up and then we're going to get them ripped and on to the next step. <laughs> guys well they're not exactly two by three because a two by six is actually five and a half inches so these are like less than two by three i think it'll work honestly you could probably use two by fours too i'm just trying to follow the direction so next thing on the list right there we've got 16 two by threes ish two by three ish and we need some two by twos um eight foot in length as well what what kind of what kind of wood are these guys so that's two a cedar twos. they're two by they look kind of like cedar i think it's cedar do you think cedar's the strat yeah so we need 14 of those but that thing's about as straight as uh well, you know how long does it take for us to get 14 straight ones? Let's go find some other. There's got to be straighter ones than these. I mean, these are these are not straight. Maybe these in the maybe those in the back are. There's a there's a bun there's a bundle of them. Yeah. Get that bundle should we should we try to grab the bundle? All right. You got it. Yep. There's 12. Three, six, nine, 12. Okay. We needed 14. 14 so we're all yeah we only need two more. That's good. Ah. Next up on the list, yeah, we need the only wood left is two. No, we don't need two by fours. We need two sheets of four by eight, half inch plywood. Just kidding, we're not doing plywood. We're gonna do tin. We're gonna make this thing bougie. The, the plywood is for the roof, but we don't need that. So let's go Let's go find some tin. This is what I was talking about. Right here. So this is the plastic. I mean, that'll work. Yeah. This will work. We wanted it, we wanted a tin tin for the roof, but we might just have to go with this plastic stuff here. I mean, it'll still work. It's gonna keep the rain off. It'll yeah. last. All right, so this is what we're gonna be using for the roof. This, is, this isn't what they told us to use on the description, but I think it would look cooler. Like, I wanted this to be tin, but they, don't, they only have plastic. I think plastic will last just fine. Um, so now it's time to go get all the hardware. Screws, nuts, bolts, all that fun stuff. Yeah. What, how long are those? Those are has $119. Why did they give me a poundage for, why don't they just tell me 100 screws, you know? I feel like that would make a lot more sense than two pounds of screws. I don't know, yeah, I don't know who's weighing the screws, but we need two pounds of decking screws, I guess. Oh, 10 pounds, okay, I, oh wow, I guess I was wrong. They do weigh them, like that's like a thing. Really? Yeah, f look, five pounds, one pound, <laughs> that was, that, I was totally wrong. You need two of these. Five pounds, yeah, but, what but size? I need two and a half. So up here, here, right here, here's one pound. We've got a bunch of T25s already, apply to wood. Yeah, these are decking screws. Well, that's not bad. Boom. Screws. Check. Two rolls of 24 by 25 welded wire, 14 gauge. That's 14 gauge. That's 100 feet. We need 50 feet. 20, two 25, 19 gauge. I say we get two of these. Yeah, You're supposed to get 14 gauge, but you know what? That's tall enough. Yeah, 19 gauge should be fine. We should be good. So we need 5,000 half inch staples. I don't know what gauge. I also don't know what gauge my, my little staple gun does. You know what I mean? Yeah. 18 gauge, half inch, 2,500 it looks like. Oh, I think these will work. What do you think? I think this is probably our best bet. These are half inch, 18 gauge, 2,500 count. The two of them, 5,000, boom. All right, we're getting down to the end of the list, folks. We've got hinges up next on the list here. So we got to find some zinc plated hinges. Two and a half inch narrow is what we're looking for here. I mean, it's pretty broad, I feel like. Like a, yeah, like a, yeah. A narrow, he said a narrow two and a half inch hinge. That's all he said. What's that bottom left one? 
two and a half. Ooh, that's what we need. Or those guys. I mean, I feel like a hinge is a hinge, right? I mean, it's just it opens the door, makes the door open. Don't I like I like the left one. It looks less a lot less complicated. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's grab five five of those suckers. Yeah. Okay, so he just used some. Yeah, we we, we need to buy some latches. Simple little ones. Right. You know, you like those things? These guys are probably like the cheapest. I like these guys. So let's get let's get five of these guys. Boom five latches these are to lock everything up and i think the last thing is we need some bolts and paint we definitely need to get some paint you big painter what no nickname picasso no i don't i don't i'm not really i'm not i feel like i'm not good at painting i don't know so okay so here's one thing that i'm in slamming you might correct me wrong this wood's really dark so you're definitely going to need to prime it or no yeah for like that for like the colors to pop so that they do make paint and primer in one do you think that's the do you think it actually works or do you think you actually still have to prime it I've never used it either. I feel like, that's way easier I feel like it is way easier because it's just one coat. You know what? I don't. We want to do red and white. That's like the classic farm look. But I don't want to paint these red and then them look like a bag of wieners. Yeah. So you gotta like worst case, you just paint it all white again and then do it again. But I, I have no idea what kind of paint. Ex, I mean, definitely some exterior paint. Yeah. So we need to find where find wherever the exterior paint is. This is interior paint. Interior. Where is exterior? So. Oh, barn paint. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's what I need. That and that. Red and white. I got one. And if you bring Thank it you up, we'll, I'll shake it for you. Awesome. All right, so we've got the paint picked out. We did barn red and barn white. Perfect. Now we need some of this stuff. So, I mean, how much experience we got on this? I, like, what are, oh, the kits. I feel like the kit, you think kits are the strat? You don't yeah. think the kits yeah. are the strat? Yeah, well, I don't see I mean, I don't see, I don't see, yeah, because I mean, it kind of comes with kind of everything. I mean, it's a $30, $30 value for, for $15. Who doesn't love a good deal? So, eight piece professional painting set. We're not professionals. This is, is smooth one? to say, yeah, can we get, can we get an amateur Beginner? set on this? I this one's a little bit more expensive. We right. also don't need tape. This Correct. What's that one look like? What's, what's the strat on that one? $25 value. So, do you want a $30 value or $25 value? Because it's, like it's only $12. Six piece versus eight piece. I feel like eight piece would be. Cause it's got two two rollers, a big roller, small roller, and a brush, and the pan. Yeah. I think like that's all you would need, yeah. right? Well, we might need a couple because we, with three dudes, we can paint. Like some people can be painting white, some people could be painting red. So maybe, why don't we just be smart? Let's just get two kits. You never know when I just want to start going full Picasso and start painting stuff. And uh, we should be good. She's mixing it up. I think we're going to be well on our way to building a massive, giant, epic rabbit hutch. <laughs> well, made it out. It's not getting any warmer out here, folks. But we got all the materials. It totaled up to about $230. Now, keep in mind, we got some bougie freaking cedar wood. We also we also bought a, th a bunch of things that like you might already have, like some snippers, and we went like the upgraded the roof a little bit. We, we, we did some bougie things, but just to give you guys an idea, a little over $300 for this thing. Pretty expensive, um, but again, you can definitely make it a lot cheaper. But we're gonna walk you guys through how we're gonna build this thing, and hopefully, hopefully it goes well. You guys stay tuned. What do you think, Puppy? You want some rabbits? What are you gonna think of the rabbits? You're not sure, are ya? You? you don't know what to think about the rabbits? I don't know if you've even never seen a rabbit. You good, bro? Chill! What, is, what do you got? Oh, oh, see, oh, there you go, there's a rabbit. See, that's a rabbit. I don't really like See, it. what if we get rabbits and then like kind of use them to train her what to look? Not, not in like, I don't have her kill them, but like, Hey, this is a rabbit. Let's go find rabbits. You know what I mean? Like for hunting. So what do you think? Oh, okay. Yep. See, this is why we can't have rabbits that run around because look at you. You're going to eat them. Anyways, folks, look, we got all the materials in here. Everything is ready to go. We got nice heated garage. Finally, we got, look at all the tools. You guys saw this video. We organized everything. We, we're ready. We're ready to get freaking stuff done out here, folks. So this is basically what we're going to be doing here. We've got this area here to build it. So it's a five compartment hutch, which we just realized we're going to need 10 hinges and we bought five. It said five, you definitely need 10 because you need one on the top, one on the bottom of each door. There's five doors. So basically with rabbits, you wanna keep them separate until you're ready to breed them. You basically put them in for a day, they breed or they, you know, do the thing and then you separate them and then they have babies and you keep going. They, you know, they breed like rabbits. It's a saying, breed like rabbits. So you wanna keep them separate. So this is gonna be, I think it's a six foot section and then a four foot section. I mean, it's it's gonna be big. Like it's gonna be this huge thing that we're gonna have to probably load on a trailer and probably end up taking out of the animals at some point. But Slayman came in clutch with a surprise. Like I said, he started a rabbit farm and and he brought his very own rabbits to the house. And so we're gonna bring them in. Millie can try to get to know them. That might go good or might go bad. They're just in a cage right now. Um, but we figured, hey, we'll um, bring them in here, let them rip around, kind of get to know them. And as we're building this, they'll just be ripping in the background. And hopefully Millie doesn't absolutely freak out and start attacking them. There's a very good chance that she will. Anyways, we gotta introduce you guys to Slayman's rabbits. Oh my God, look at them, they're so cute. What's going hey, on, little guy? Oh my God, they're just little babies. You haven't named them? No, I've not. not you, haven't, yet. you haven't named them? They bite? Uh, not really, no. Who's that little dude? 
Oh, you're so soft. God, you guys are chill. Millie, what are you... She's not doing bad. No, you definitely can't come in here. We gotta lock this up. What do you, what do you think? Those are gonna be the new farm meal. Not these ones in particular, but we're gonna get something like it. What do you think, Millie? There's little, little chunguses in there. What do you think about the chunguses? Look at them. They're so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Look at their little nose moving. These things are absolutely adorable. I know, I, I, seeing these in person, I, and I'm kind of excited to get into the rabbit breeding farm. Are they boy or boy and girl? Or? Uh, the black one is a guy. And, uh, so they will breed. So at some yeah. point, you're just gonna have yeah. little chunguses. Yeah, it's <laughs> two months, I think, for the bucks to be able to produce. How old are they? Uh, a month. They're a month and a half. Oh, really? Oh, so they're not even like ready to rock yeah, and roll. Young. Oh, they'd be four months? Yeah. Oh, so like you're a ways out. Yeah. From, from getting getting down and dirty. I see. God, they are freaking cute though. All right, well, Millie's not, I mean, she's interested, but she's not, you know, I thought she was gonna be like banging on it, try to roll them over and try to kill them. I say, let's just, um, you wanna just set them like maybe over here? Just kinda, that way they're kinda out of the way a little bit, but so we've got our building area and they, Chungus can chill in there. Millie's gonna, you know, probably just keep harassing him. And we're gonna get started. So step number one, um, we have to build, I believe, the frame. So I'm gonna try to do this in a non-boring way where it's not just like a tutorial. But I also want you guys at home that, you know, maybe wanna build. Actually, I'll link the, I'll link this down below. There's a link um, that I'm following. So if this video kind of sucks, you can click the link down below if you wanna know how to build this. But I will try to walk you through it as well as just do entertaining time lapses and stuff like that and show kind of the finished product. But anyways, let's get to building. All right, so this is kind of what we're, this is what we're using, the cheat sheet here. But essentially, we're gonna build this frame. That's gonna be the first step. So what you gotta do is it says, use the circular saw to cut two of the two by threes to six foot lengths. And that's step number one. So you got the saw horses and we need the chop saw, which is buried there. And let's get to cut. So we've got some pieces cut here. We've got two six foot pieces and then four 33 inch pieces. So this is basically like so we're building the frame here. So it's gonna be basically the, the two legs. I believe these are the legs here. Two legs, two legs, and this is kind of the start of the frame. So we need to uh, figure out how to put this, this, put this piece together. Well, it's starting to, I mean, it kind of looks like a frame on a house. We're kind of building a house. It's just a little house for these guys. Millie, did you make two new friends? Look at them. They're so freaking cute. Look at these guys. No, Millie would eat them. You can't. You cannot. Really? All right, we, if you want to try it, I'm down. I, I'm just, I don't want Millie to kill them. I don't think she will. She's, Millie's really nice. She's really nice. I think Millie's, Millie's just, she might like try to like play with it. I don't think she's gonna try to eat it though. Oh God. Puppy, puppy meets Chungus. Hey, you cannot bite the ears. That is a bad dog. Millie. You be nice. Be nice to Chungus. Chungus is friendly. You be nice. Hey, friend, be, not food. Hi, little guy. You're so cute. Oh my God. Hold back, hold back, Millie. Look at him, look at him, look at him. The black one earlier. What about that little yeah, Chunky? Oh, did you just poop right, right there? Yeah. Come on, my guy. Chill. Where are Chunky? Be nice. You be nice to Chungus. Look at Is that Chungus? Chungus. Oh, yeah. Millie's, Millie's chill. Just don't bite her, all right? Chungus is our friend, not food. All right, oh, Bubba? Chungus number two. Oh, God. Sit big boy down here. Hey, look at this one. Hey, there's another one. Look. This one runs. Look. Hey, hey. Look. There's another one. Look. There's another one. Oh God, oh God, Millie, chill, chill. Look at the things on the move. Oh God, we don't want to lose them. No. He likes to wander, that one. <laughs> he is a wanderer. Oh, Millie's being good. She's not biting yeah. them. She's giving little kisses. Good girl, Millie. I don't think we should just let, keep them out, but mm. you can at least get to know your new friends. All right, I got Millie. I got their All right, right. Put, put the oh. Chungus's away. Chungus, come here. Yeah. Chungus one and Chungus two. Yeah, Millie did, Millie did good. Good girl, Millie. You yeah, rabbits. you can have rabbits. I'm not afraid of you eating them. You might terrorize them. You also terrorize Dale, so that we got that going for us. Anyways, this has been kind of step one of something making it look like it's something. It's a lot of room for a, yeah. a rabbit. Yeah, well, this is only one. 
Yeah, but this is Cause like... Because it's three and two, right? Yeah. Or something so like that? this is the three Yeah, page. Yeah, so this is six feet long, so and there's three the pods, yeah. and then we're going to build another one that's got four, and it's got two. So like basically, you're building two hutches in one. So step one done. Step two is we got this mesh stuff. So this stuff is going to have to go. This is the what's going to be at their feet, essentially. So their poop can kind of fall through. You can clean their bedding out easy. But essentially, this is what's going to kind of be laid here. So we got to get the staple gun out and get to stapling. It's like a trampoline, Bonds. Are you gonna give it a couple jumps or? It's a little flimsy. We found out the staples we bought, wrong staples. Luckily, I found some other staples. So we're kind of lightly doing it. This is not supposed to have this piece. This piece right here, not supposed to have. Kind of messed up because our pieces of mesh were only, what, five feet? Yeah. And this is six. So then you had to add a foot. Well, if you don't have this right here for support, the mesh is just gonna fall. So we cut an extra piece. We might run out of wood, but what we've decided is originally we were gonna build the five hutch, which is actually a five rabbit hutch, which is actually this, and then this again, but in half. There literally two separate hutches. So we're like, we don't even have rabbits yet. Well, how do, how do we don't even know how many we're going to have? So we're going to build this. And then if we end up getting more rabbits, we could always build another, you know, basically three bay once we get six rabbits or whatever it might be. I think the guy, like the guy had a good idea, but the fact that he made six foot one and then a four foot one made no sense. Like, why wouldn't you just make two five feet one? I, maybe that has to do with the wood lengths or something. I don't know. I wish, I wish we would have just made this five feet. It would have made a lot more sense. Um, but anyway, so we've got the mesh done. So now we have to make these little frames. So it's going to come up from here. And basically this is the bottom of it how we have to build the sides and then after that will be the roof and everything else so keep enjoying the time lapses Look at you, buddy. Sides. That's the sides. Something like that. Yeah, we'll, I mean, I think it'll work. So yeah, you got two there. You got another one here. Here's one. And the fourth one. Have a little overhangage, but you guys are starting to see the idea here come to come together. So we've got these. See, that's the sides, and then we're just gonna have to build doors, the back, the roof, all that stuff. But see, it's starting to take shape. So we all let's see what else we gotta do. I think with the first thing we gotta do next, we gotta screw these down, and then we have to put the cross boards and then frame in the doors, get the doors built. Oh, so we still have a lot of work to do. This is it's taking a lot longer than I thought. It is a simple design once you get the hang of it, but it does take some time. So, like I said before, keep tuning in to the time lapse. folks it's coming together we are we're getting her dialed in here we've got everything framed so i know i'm not going like completely step by step with you guys like i said i will link it down below if you guys want to build this thing but i mean from the time lapse you could probably get the idea i mean you built the frame you built the legs then we just added these guys here in these little middle pieces here the back's all screened in the top still has nothing which we'll just put a roof in it so now it's time we need to frame in the doors and the hinges so luckily we bought five hinges we need six we're only one short versus like eight short or whatever i don't know what but he was thinking when he was telling people that you need five because you need a lot more than that but basically you would do one two three four five six so we like i said i know it's just a lot of time lapses for you guys it's not super 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 interesting but i wanted to document kind of the experience and you know teach you guys hey even three dumbasses can build something that looks kind of like i mean it's not the straightest thing in the world but neither am i so it doesn't really matter so anyways we got we got this thing going for us now we just need to frame in the doors get them screened in hang them get the roof and then we got to go painting we did buy some paint and stuff like that so we still have a lot of work to do but we've only been doing it for two hours so just letting you guys know our first try this is what we got after two hours not too terrible so anyways stay tuned
folks. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the dope ear roll segment. We've almost got this thing complete. As you, you can kind of see it's taking shape. I mean, our cuts aren't precise and everything. I mean, look, the doors are, you know, they just, they kind of get stuck. It's just, I made them fit too tight. Like I should have just cut them a little short. Um, I just made that, made that mistake, but he's going to throw the chunguses in there. Let's see what they think. See, the idea is their poop would just kind of fall, fall down. Yeah. You know? So you don't have to clean it up. Oh, it worked. Oh, they're, oh, you just poop. Good job, little man. Yeah, don't, yeah, here, shut them in there so they don't fall out. See, their feet just kind of dangle, but yeah, I feel like it's fine. As long as they're doing all right. Yeah, look at all the poop. poop. The poop's dropping on the floor. Oh, he's got a dangler. Oh, he's, he's got dingleberries. What's the strap there, buddy? Why, why, <laughs> Millie you... likes it. Millie, what are you doing? What do you think? What do you think of those guys under there? Ben. You think you could put Ooh, in one of them? Oh, 100%. He'd probably freak out, though. Probably can't put too much weight on those things, but <laughs> it works. I mean, the, the poop the poop falls out. I would say it's a success. So Look at this. Fully enclosed. Look at those little things. They're so cute. We need, it. we need to get the roof on it. Look at them. And the poop falls through the cracks, so you don't have to clean it up. Yeah. yeah. Just fertilizes the grass, like when they're out there, you know? What's up, little guy? All right, Chungus. Yeah, Chungus test complete. What up, little dude? How's it going? You like your new home? Well, I guess it's not your new home, but. Could be. For, for a second. It could be. Really? Comment down below, what kind of rabbit should we get? Like, they make some Chungus rabbits. I shouldn't say they make, but there <laughs> is, you know, just, they're out there. All right, Chungus rabbits are out there. I mean, if you're putting only one per, I mean, they've got hella space. I mean, an incredible amount of space. How's that thing? Did I break that thing already? It was a little tricky, but it's not bad. Perfect. All right. Time to build the roof. the roof on and I do realize that it's kind of backwards you see like these things are supposed to run that way because the water is supposed to go back you're supposed to like tilt it up well we didn't get enough of this stuff so we ended up just barely overlapping it right here and uh we're kind of thinking I mean maybe if you just like lifted one side just a little bit then it rains and it pours off this side it's not like it's really gonna matter but I mean look at it it's coming together nice they've got cover they got everything like I said we're gonna have to figure out all the internal stuff like that but I like it I think it looks pretty good the next step and final step before getting rabbits is the paint so we've got to uh, break out the paint we've got the barn white and the barn red and we're gonna try to get at least one coat on it today probably finish it up tomorrow and we'll have ourselves a three rabbit at least three chungus rabbit hutch so you guys stay tuned Folks, look at this thing. This looks like something you'd buy at the store. Probably a thrift shop or something, but I mean, it still looks, it looks good. The paint really, really helps. I mean, we, again, we went with the, the barn red and the white. I mean, obviously no, none of us can paint in between these lines here. I mean, it, it definitely looks like some, a group of toddlers just got, you know, let loose on this thing. I don't know what that strat is there, or I mean, there's, what, what happened? <laughs> Who did, you did this? Well, I thought <laughs> I wanted to paint this frame and I ended up just painting the, uh, the mesh and then I, so I stopped. Um, but you know, see, look, it works. Look, our little chunguses will be hanging out in there. This is kind of like the first project. I'm trying to think, we haven't really built much at my house, like even since I moved in. We have a lot of plans, lots and lots and lots of projects. Uh, we want to build, oh, I'll give you guys a few. We want to build a playground for the animals. We want to build a boat dock for the pond, like redo it. Um, we've got a bunch of other ones too, like dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens. But this is number one. This is just, you know, getting the garage dirty. We just cleaned this sucker. Now it's all dirty and all the tools are everywhere. We're just breaking in the tools. It looks freaking good. I, I am I am actually pretty happy with it. I think the colors look good. It's gonna match everything down there. Now we gotta let this thing dry. I mean, ideally you wanna throw two coats on it. Uh, we probably won't do that. We'll probably just, you know, let it chill. We'll see what it looks like in the morning, I guess. But uh, then once it's dry, rip it down all the way down to the animals enclosure and then We've got to acquire rabbits. So I'm thinking we'll probably go to the auction. That's usually the strat. And at least buy three chunguses. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably put a divider in these and make it a six rabbit deal. I mean, pretty easily. These are these are absolutely massive. I mean, there is like a crazy amount of room in these things. I think, what were they? They were probably almost two by three. I think that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. It, was about, it was about two by three. 
So, I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot of square footage for a rabbit, I guess, depending on how big of a chungus you get. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. I know there's a lot of time lapses and B-roll, but if you guys enjoyed this style of video, let me know because, again, we have tons of other projects, and I'm trying to kind of find the way. What's the best way to film it and present it to you guys? Like, I didn't want to make this, like, a super big tutorial. Like I said, I'll link something down below that shows how to build this. I mean, we built it pretty much the way that they said. I mean, you can see this this post here is doing it, doing doing one of these things. Pretty, pretty heavy, but, you know, that's just what you get when you got three dinguses trying to build a rabbit hutch. Um, like I said, I didn't want to make it super boring. I kind of want to give you guys the gist, the, the sped up, more entertaining version of it, not a step-by-step -step tutorial. If you guys want more step-by-step -step stuff, let me know. Or if you're cool with this, especially if I can provide a link down below to where if you guys want to go build this, you can go check it out. Uh, all the materials and stuff, it'll all be linked down in the description down below. So like I said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Hit the like button, drop a comment down below. Also hit the subscribe button while you're already down there. And hopefully we, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy this and we can do something like this again. Also, again, Again, comment down below what other things do you want us to build like I'm kind of after doing this knowing our carpentry skills I think we could handle a chicken goo probably not but I kind of want to tackle the task just because I feel like this like we got our feet wet it doesn't look bad I mean we filmed this how long did it take us like two and a half three hours I mean this is what we got after two and a half three hours I mean and especially like imagine if we got three couple more dudes out here I mean we could really crank it up if you guys want to see us rebuild a chicken coop or like I said the playground for the animals whatever it might be comment down below what we should build next hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and peace mm -hmm.